And Midori Ito seems somewhat pale as she comes back to the ice, rebounding from what could have been a horrendous accident. At least she is able to perform in her original program, and we'll see her in action in a moment. Welcome back to Munich, and now Midori Ito and this crowd giving her a healthy round of applause and recognizing her recovery. World champion two years ago, she's now 21. This is already her seventh world performance. She debuted in 1984 and burst on the scene, finishing seventh as a young teenager. Watch her fly. Oh my. And right back out, she goes right through the boards where the television camera is located, and apparently unharmed continues almost without losing a beat. I have never seen anything like this before. I don't know what the judges are going to do. Well, she would have a mandatory deduction of three to four tenths falling off of the second jump. What else can go wrong? Midori Ito trying to survive an incredible series of events. But look, she's smiling. of this crowd, they're going to cheer her every move. to the boards. She does have a history of jumping awfully close to the boards in practice. We've we seen her we crash into the boards many times. This week, she has maybe taken three or four major bangs into the barrier, and it was only a matter of time before that happened in a major competition. But Midori Ito has shown this audience and the judges she has the medal of a champion. Here she has come back to compete and has competed well. There's the spot where she <laughs> crashed she's, through. She's apologizing to the cameraman. What's she picking up there? I guess some pieces of the pieces. Of wood. Now look at the hole right to the right where the white board meets the purple baseboard. She had chipped off some wood. Midori Ito. Now it'll be interesting to see how the judges sort out her leaving the here ice. Here it is. Look how close she is. And she, she actually lands the jump and then falls off. Here it is again. She's, she lands on the ice. Had there been a couple more feet, she would have landed that jump. Now on my list of deductions here for the judges, there's no deduction for jumping off the surface of the ice. 
I don't know what they're going to do. Boy, she didn't miss, miss a beat coming back on the surface, did she? I think she's very lucky that the boards were open in that place. The Australian judge gives only a 5-2, but and the German judge 5-3, up to the Italian and Finnish judges 5-7. Well, that'll keep her in contention. And now the presentation, would they deduct from the presentation for going off the ice? They are supposed to, but I think there'll be some a, a couple of sympathy tents here. Well, more than that, 5-7 through 5-9 for Ido. So in spite of moments of terror, if not for her, certainly for us, even flirting with elimination, look at this. She's second to Harding, with only Christy Yamaguchi among the top skaters left to perform the original program. She's uh, taking off one of her boots. Look at that hole. That had to leave some damage, uh, one would think. I think that came from Hubert's leg. And here, this is... Mm. Her foot's taped. The foot is taped, which could probably have stopped the blade from puncturing into the skin. Well, let's go back. Here's the collision during warm-up with Hubert. And Watch Hubert's right foot. There she goes. That's where she gets it. And then when she hit the boards, that knocked the wind out of Ido. And now this is the combination where she leaves the ice. Watch this. She lands and she carves her way through the boards and just immediately to her feet and back into her program. She's a very lucky young lady. She could have been very serious in her. Now they're helping her back to the locker room. And uh, that doesn't look good as she hops on the one skate. But no, she's smiling. She's apparently all right. It's just the, the, there's no other way to manipulate here with the one boot on, one off. Boy, her attitude is amazing. Well, it's nice because it tells us that she's not incredibly hurt or feeling it. The problem for her is not so much how she feels today, but how she'll feel tomorrow once the muscle sees up and the bruising sets in. Physicians, we understand, from the International Skating Union have been called. In fact, there's one now. They're going to assist her back to the ladies' dressing quarters. And hopefully, Midori Ito will be OK, and we'll see her battle for a second world title. Tom Hammond's trying to get to Ito, but uh, apparently he has been uh, cut off at the pass, and and uh, so are we. As is everybody else. Can you let her through, please? Christy Yamaguchi, a brilliant skater, an elegant performer. She is the last of the remaining top skaters to work the original program. We'll see her in a moment. Down to the final few skaters, the ladies' original program. Here's 19-year-old Christy Yamaguchi of the United States, the favorite going into the Nationals last month until Harding's triple axle landed Tanya number one and Yamaguchi number two. Last year in the world, she finished fourth. We understand we're getting a report now on the condition of Midori Ito. Let's go to Tom. What are the injuries, please? We don't know yet what the injuries are. Uh, as you heard, she's got a hole in her shoe from the from the skate from the other girl. She got, but she got no uh, injury on the surface, no skin injury. And what about the hip? I understand she has a bad. No, injury. nothing about the hip. Are the injuries badly enough to keep her from skating tomorrow? At the moment, I don't think so. We got her for further examination in the clinic. Is the ankle swollen? They, they say you were soaking it nice. Is there a danger, perhaps a sprain or a fracture, a fracture of the ankle? I don't think there's any injury to the ankle. So again, in your estimation, all things being equal, she could skate again tomorrow? I do hope so. All right, Tom, and our thanks also to Brian Williams, our colleague at CBC.